No matter the amount of negative or false media headlines or attacks from the other side, Donald Trump has not and will not lose focus on you. The past three and a half years have been unforgettable. There are no words to describe how honored, humbled, and fortunate I am to serve our nation as your First Lady. After many of the experiences I've had, I don't know if I can fully explain how many people I take home with me in my heart each day. It is in times like this that we will look back and tell our grandchildren that through kindness and compassion, strength and determination, we were able to restore the promise of our future. My father rebuilt the mighty American military, adding new jets, aircraft carriers. He increased wages for incredible men and women in uniform. The moment President Trump ordered special forces to kill some of the deadliest terrorists on the planet, the day the mighty Moab was dropped on insurgent camps, is the day America took a stance and never be defeated by the enemy. I have a big job as Susan's husband and Nick's dad. Susan and Nick are more safe and their freedoms more secure because President Trump has put his America First vision into action. It may not have made him popular in every foreign capital, but it's worked. President Trump understands what my great fellow Kansan President Eisenhower said, for all that we cherish, and justly desire for ourselves or for our children. The securing of peace is the first requisite. Indeed, the primary constitutional function of the national government is ensuring that your family and mine are safe and enjoy the freedom to live, to work, to learn, and to worship as they choose. Delivering on this duty to keep us safe and our freedoms intact, this president has led bold initiatives in nearly every corner of the world my father ran not because he needed the job, but because he knew hardworking people across this great country were being left behind. I'm John Peterson, owner of a second generation metal fabrication business called Shuey Metals. We've been stamping our products and services made in the USA since 1957. Six years ago, we invested heavily in our business just as a great recession appeared. Barack Obama and Joe Biden Two career politicians who knew nothing about business couldn't get the government out of our way, and it put our business in a tailspin. Many may not realize that the Wisconsin Badgers and the president share three common qualities. They are smart, they're tough, and they're dependable. As a businessman, I can tell you that those qualities we need in our country's leader, and that's why we need to reelect Donald J. Trump I have to confess, I didn't support Trump in 2016. Skeptical that he shared my conservative views, I expected him to flip-flop on his campaign promises. As long as Trump is president, fishing families like mine will have a voice. I strongly support President Trump's re-election. I urge you to make judgment based on results and not rhetoric. If you believe in criminal justice reform, there is only one president that passed the First Step Act giving people a second chance, a chance at a life once again. And if you believe in expanding quality and affordable health care, only President Trump, my father, signed the right to try into law, the favored nations clause, and other actions to lower drug prices and keep Americans from getting ripped off. President Trump delivered the largest financial funding package ever to Indian country. The $8 billion in CARES Act funding to Indian country was a great start in alleviating the devastating effects that the COVID-19 pandemic has inflicted on our Indian tribes. The president also provided $273 million to improve public safety and support victims of crime in the Native American community. President Trump gets things done. When some in Congress wanted a so-called revenue neutral tax plan, Donald Trump and I worked together to make sure that it was a true tax cut. I brought President Trump an idea for better, less expensive health insurance called Association Health Plans. Donald Trump overturned years of red tape and bureaucrats and he made it happen. Total honesty is what we as citizens deserve from our president. Whether you like it or not, you always know what he's thinking. And that is because he's an authentic person 
who loves this country and its people and wants to continue to make it better. I caught my very first felony conviction at 16 years old, and that type of behavior had led me into more and more arrests, getting in trouble until the age of 37 years old. I was arrested for a string of bank robberies. Two years ago, I was honored to tell John Ponder's story of transformation in the Rose Garden on the National Day of Prayer. Today, I'm thrilled to welcome him back to the White House. John's life is a beautiful testament to the power of redemption. So now I'd like to invite John's wife, Jamie, to join us as I grant John, I'm not sure you know this, a full pardon. Today, America rejoices as we welcome five absolutely incredible new members into our great American family. You are now fellow citizens of the greatest nation on the face of God's earth. Congratulations. There is no higher honor and no greater privilege, and it's an honor for me to be your president. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.